This is for Web3 developers who want to start writing code to take advantage of arbitrage opportunities. I'll show you how to programmatically find and calculate if an arbitrage opportunity exists between Uniswap and SushiSwap. If you can find an opportunity like this, where you can buy tokens on one exchange and sell the same tokens on another exchange, it's free money if you can trade it before someone else does. Let's write the code. I have a project here with some setup code already written. I'll give you this in the description to this tutorial. I also have Ethers.js 5 installed, and that's it. Let's walk through this, and then we'll get to writing the code. Start by importing Ethers.js, which we'll use for connecting to the blockchain. Initialize a provider with Ethers so that we can read from the blockchain. You'll need your own Infura URL key, which you can get by creating an account on Infura. I'm using a fake key here because your key should be kept private. So input your own and you'll be good to go. I've predefined four addresses here. We have the addresses of wrapped Ether, DAI, the Uniswap router address, and the Sushi Swap router address. I intentionally chose two tokens, wrapped Ether and DAI, which have the same number of decimal places, because this just makes our code a little bit simpler. I also defined a constant called path, which specifies the direction of the swap. In our case, this is wrapped Ether to DAI. The ABI for Uniswap v2 and SushiSwap routers are the same, and they're the same because they use the same router contract code, though it's deployed to two different addresses. Uh, that's why we only need one ABI here, and we'll be able to use it for both of our router contracts. In this ABI, we just have one function, and that is get amounts out. That's the only function we're going to need. Then we initialize our two contracts the Uniswap router and the SushiSwap router by passing in the address, the ABI, and the provider which we initialized above. I've picked one wrapped Ether as the amount we want to swap into our arbitrage, but you can play with this and change it up as you like. Parse Ether just converts the ETH amount to its, small, to its smallest divisible unit, way, basically just adding 18 zeros to the right side of the number. We open our main function, and this needs to be async because later requests are going to depend on the results of earlier requests. Now finally, let's write some code. The first thing we need to do is call get amounts out on each protocol's router, so we can get back the swap output amount given an input of one wrapped ether into each swap pool. And firstly, for Uniswap on the router contract, we'll call get amounts out and we'll pass in the amount in that we specified above. And we'll also pass in the path, which is an array of addresses of addresses that we are trading between. This returns two values, the amount in and the amount out. And then we'll do the same thing with the SushiSwap router. And arbitrage between Uniswap v2 and SushiSwap is about the easiest case you could really come up with because they both do use the same contract code. Not on every contract, but on these two contracts. With the input amount and output amount, we can calculate the price ratios on both pools. The price of token 1 in terms of token 0. Let's do it for Uniswap first. This gives us the price ratio on Uniswap, and then we'll do the same thing for SushiSwap. Now we'll log these values. We don't need to, but it's nice to have the context when we're running our code. In Uniswap v2 and SushiSwap, the transaction fees are 0.3%. This fee comes off the output of our token swaps, so calculations are pretty easy. But let's define that fee amount right now. Point 
0.3% as a number is decimal 003. Now let's define a few variables. Firstly, the effective Uniswap price ratio, and this is the price after fees have been taken into account. If there were no fees on Uniswap, V2, or SushiSwap, it would be really easy to make money from arbitrage, but we do need to take fees into account. And the effective SushiSwap price ratio for these tokens. And the spread. And the spread is the difference between the effective price of both Sushi and Uni, or the prices of the two tokens we're trading on each of these protocols. The greater the spread, the more price difference between the two swap pools, and the more opportunity for profit from arbitrage. Now if the Uni price is greater than the Sushi price, we want to run some code. And if it's the opposite, we'll run some other code. Let's start with the case of the Uniswap price being greater than the sushi swap price. So here we're going to calculate the effective Uniswap price. And that is the Uni price we calculated above. Minus the Uni price times the transaction fee. The transaction fee comes off the swaps in both protocols, so it's going to decrease the spread from both sides. So we subtract it from the higher price, which is the uni price, and then we're going to add it to the lower price in a second. The effective sushi price is equal to the sushi price plus the sushi price times that transaction fee. And by subtracting the fee from the higher number and adding it to the lower number, it decreases the spread between those two values and essentially eats into the potential arbitrage profits. And the spread is equal to the effective uni price less the effective sushi price. And let's log this. And if this spread is still greater than zero, there is an opportunity for arbitrage. So sell on Sushi and buy on Uni. And if the spread is less than zero, well, there's no arbitrage opportunity. And let's do the same thing in the other direction. If the price on Sushi is higher than the price on Uni, we would want to sell Sushi and buy Uni. So subtract the fee from the higher value, which is Sushi. and add it to the lower value, which is uni. Take the spread, and then check to see if the spread is greater than zero. But let's print the spread first, because it's nice to know. And I mix these up. In the first case, if the price on uni is higher, you sell on uni and you buy on sushi where it's cheaper. And if the price is higher on sushi swap, you sell on sushi swap and you buy on uni swap where the price is lower. Now let's give this a run. Okay, and this is not the uni router. The second one here should have been the sushi router. And we can see here the price on each exchange. On Uniswap, the price ratio is 1852.15. And on the Sushi exchange, the price is 1853.31. And our spread is a negative number, so there's no arbitrage opportunity in this case. 
but this is likely a very liquid pool and most good arbitrage opportunities are going to be found on less liquid pools. So you may want to give this a try on some less mainstream tokens. If you found this video helpful, give it a like and subscribe. Tell me what other video tutorials you'd like to see soon and I'll see you next time.